Hey everybody and welcome back to Eric's Creative. Today we're going to compare the Buck Bros 9 inch number 4 plane and the cheapest Harbor Freight plane that you can get. Um, it actually comes in a set with this little trim plane and we're going to talk about which one of these two is worth your money. So, um, from a budget standpoint, and, and that's exactly what all this is based on, it's not based on quality as much as budget, this kit here seems like a really good deal for some people. I've seen them mention it online and things like that. Um, it's like $19.95 or something like that, or close to that for this kit here. Um, this one here, this Buck Bros 9 inch number four plane is like $29 so it's about 30 bucks and from number um, from most of the aspects of it they're very very similar they they actually have a very similar weight this um, Harbor Freight one's a little bit lighter um, this Buck Bros is definitely um, about maybe a quarter has about a quarter more mass to it than than this Harbor Freight one does and um, overall, they're, they're pretty close in length and things, so they're, they're pretty comparable in that sense. But I will tell you that really, they're not the same thing at all. One thing that makes them um, remark or markedly different is the handles. The Buck Bros actually has wood handles. They're painted. I don't know what kind of wood they are. They're probably not great quality wood, but they are um would they're come more comfortable in the hand in my opinion the knob is slightly bigger not so much in diameter on the bucks bros but taller which makes it a little bit more comfortable the um the back of the buck bros handle here has a little bit more meat to it in the back so it's a little bit more uh comfortable in the hand for gripping in that sense the uh, Harbor Freight is all plastic. You can fill the ridges where it came out of the mold and the seams in it and you'd have to sand those down. The back is too narrow in my opinion. It's a little, it makes it a little bit tighter to, to fit. Um, also, the, the flip mechanism for the chip breaker is not real great on the um, Harbor Freight. It, it's hard to get adjusted with the screw so that it actually um, clamps down right without you fighting with it and then when you do clamp it down it shifts the blade around and it doesn't keep it true whereas here on the Buck Bros you have a brass knob it makes it really easy to tighten it down it fits well with the screw and it just makes it a, a really nice piece to use for the price that you're you're paying for it now another thing that I will mention is that um, and and I guess I shouldn't have done it this way, but what I did is straight out of the box, I honed the um, Buck Bros. I, I put it on a flat piece of glass or actually a thick piece of acrylic with um, sandpaper and I wet sanded it down to the point where it, I mean, minus a very small area, it's completely flat. And then I honed the blade. I did use it briefly before I honed the blade and the blade was a little bit, um, it, it lacked some to be desired for sure and it still isn't my favorite blade but um it didn't chatter nearly as bad as this harbor freight this harbor freight is so out of true i can't get one ribbon period i could at least get a ribbon out of this one when it came out of the box it wasn't a great ribbon but it was something i've never been able to get a ribbon out of this um I'm actually afraid to even start honing the Harbor Freight because I'm just afraid it's that out of true. Um, and the blade sings. It just chatters so much it sings like a little bird and it drives me crazy. I can't stand the feel of it in my hand. I can't, um, I, I just don't like it really, honestly. Um, could you put a Stanley blade in here? Probably. You probably could. I haven't tried that yet. I might try that. Would it make it better? Probably. But there are other facets to this that aren't real great. For instance, um, the pitch adjustment for your blade doesn't hardly work. It, it barely, at least on this one, it doesn't shift the blade left to right hardly at all. Whereas on the Buck Bros, it definitely makes a very 
uh, marked difference in your adjustment on it, which is nice. Um, the While the knob on this particular model of the Harbor Freight is better than the more expensive Harbor Freight one, which is $29, because the more expensive one has a knob on each side that you have to adjust to set your depth and your pitch of your, your blade. Um, this knob is better, but it's very, very coarse and very hard to use in, in process. Um, it's hard to set up for me. It, it doesn't have a very refined um, adjustment on it. Uh, maybe you can make some adjustments to make that work better. I don't know. I, I'm just not, honestly, even though it came with this, which this is a piece of junk, the adjustment screw for tension on the back, or depth is plastic. It's going to break within a few days. I tried using it like, oops, I tried using it like two times and said forget it. And now this blade out of the trim um, plane has become my glue scraper. But this here, could you make it work? Yeah, you could. But is it worth your money? Probably not, in my opinion. Um, so this one is definitely worth your money. Definitely worth the effort to get it up to, to par if you're getting started with planes and you don't have a lot of money to spend. But how much does it really cost you to get these planes up to date and to be you know reasonably usable? Well, you'll see online that a lot of people say, oh, it's $29 and, and that's the cost. Well, I don't, I don't believe that. I, well, it's not true. Um, so in the next video, I'll talk about what the, the cost of truly getting these up to date is. So if I left any doubt, Harbor Freight one, could it be usable? Yes. Is it worth your money? In my opinion, no. Is the Buck Bros worth your money? Yes, it is. Is it good out of the box? No, it's not. Does it cost you $29? to be able to have it usable like it should? No, it doesn't. Once again, we'll go into that in the next video. So I hope you guys found this interesting. I hope that you liked the video. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to share, subscribe, comment. Um, have you done anything with these that made them work better? Let me know. Have you used this cheap Harbor Freight one and made it work better? Let me know. And um, in the next video, we'll continue to talk about what the true cost of buying and getting one of these set up is for your total dollar amount. Thanks, guys, for stopping by. Really enjoy having you with me. Hope to see you in the next video. And don't forget to check out my links in the description below. Um, the affiliate links from Amazon help support me, which is a, a good thing. If you don't mind doing that, I would really appreciate it. And if you want to buy from my Etsy store, that helps me out as well. So thanks, guys. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.